Hello. Hello. Well, hi. Would this be Peter? Peter. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Peter. Peter. It's Scott Wood. Yeah. Hi, Scott. I'm from the interview show. It's good to talk to you. <laughs> so, how's your day been going? Yeah, I was playing synthesizers and pianos and stuff like that, but I didn't write something. You know, <laughs> I tried. I've been working on on trying, but I'm I'm able to uh, come out with melodies and stuff. But it's all about the lyrics right now. You know, I have like 20 riffs that they have uh, everything. All the the patterns are have been made. So the only thing missing are the are the lyrics. So maybe I'm gonna try to to write poems and stuff like that, not tunes, because may, maybe I'm thinking too much, like I just said. Uh, I don't know. So I think that what you should do instead is you should plan to go out and have a fun night. So if you were going to do that, what would that be? You're in Montreal, which is the party city in Canada. <laughs> yeah, this is, and that's the thing because you know I'm just back from Austin, Texas, and Toronto, and uh, I've been partying a lot. So. Uh, now I'm on a break. I'm on a booze break, you know. So uh, I'm trying to stay indoor right now because uh, the temptation is too uh, is too big for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, Peter, Peter, us boring radio listeners, we aren't musicians, so we want to live vicariously through you. So if you were going to go out tonight and have a good time in Montreal, the party city in Canada, what would you do? Probably I would go to uh, Casa del Popolo on Saint Laurent. There are many bars on Saint Laurent that I like, and Casa is one of them. It's probably my my favorite so far. The spring uh, is started and everything, so it's pretty warm outside. So I, I would walk on Saint Laurent going uh, going south. <laughs> so let me get this straight: a night on the wild side for Peter Peter is walking on a street. Now I don't believe that. No, no, this is not the wild side. No, this is the. <laughs> Romantic side, probably. Uh, no, uh, probably I would go out with some friends. I would, you know, uh, start the night with uh, having a couple beers and maybe a bottle of one of red wine on my on my rooftop, and then go uh, running in the streets. Not everybody will mix beer and red wine. Yeah, that's that's the thing. When I'm partying, you know, I don't look uh, that much at what I'm drinking. When I'm eating, it's different. But uh, when I invite some friends over, we we just we just drink whatever and sometimes it's even gin or rum and uh, we don't really care <laughs> so what peter peter is saying is that basically when you're out on a night with him on the town any alcoholic drink put on front of him he will drink yeah i think so yeah i'm on a booze break right now you know <laughs> <laughs> of course of course all right so peter peter are you ready for the interview yeah i'm ready okay so i'm going to play a song and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk Okay. Hi, my name is Peter Peter, and you're listening to the interview show with Scott Wood. Bonjour, mon nom est Peter Peter, et vous écoutez the interview show avec mon bon ami Scott Wood. So 
Bonjour, mon nom est Peter Peter et vous écoutez The Interview Show avec mon bon ami Scott Wood. Welcome back to The Interview Show. This is Scott Wood, your host. You just heard a song by Peter Peter. I'm going to say that it's called An Improved Version of Sadness. He's going to call it something different. In French, right? Of course. Yeah, it's Une Version Améliorée de la Tristesse. It's the title track off your second record. I would love it if you could talk a bit about that track. Uh, so The Improved Version of Sadness is... Uh, quest for happiness but I never I never been able to reach it the, uh, the true uh, happiness though that is, so it, it's what it's called that way it's, you know it's uh, about uh, soothing all all the pains and all the stresses uh, parties and and bars and stuff like that it, it talks about that yeah I'm noticing a theme of partying in your life yeah sometimes Sometimes it is, you know, when I uh, when I'm sad and everything, maybe uh, I'm trying to to forget a little bit. It it doesn't mean necessarily uh, getting drunk and stuff, but it means uh, going out, uh, meeting new people, uh, you know, having fun with friends and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, it's what it means. Peter, Peter, your record. It's called an improved version of sadness. That was the title track we heard. This record, all the lyrics are in French, but you're courting an English audience with this music. Yeah, I did. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm very happy because I'm French. Uh, and in Montreal, we, we share the city with Anglophones and everything. But uh, I'm super impressed. It, it, uh, it went so far uh, on the CMJ chart and everything. So I'm very impressed. We went to uh, Austin for South by Southwest and Canadian Music Week. We played uh, for an uh, English audience has been uh, pretty well received and everything so the response uh, was good so uh, we had good times well that's great congratulations yeah i'm happy <laughs> so now your press kit it describes you as a montreal resident and french-speaking darling who never really aspired for an english audience with his french lyrics so i wanted to ask you when you first made the record what were your expectations of making a french record in montreal yeah well i don't know because i don't listen much French music, so I was just trying to uh, to record an album that I would listen to that would sound, you know, uh, Anglo-Saxon. It was my main goal to to succeed in doing something that any people from any from any countries and, and stuff like that w would like because uh, you know English is traveling better than, than French, so I just wanted my French to sound a little bit like English. Yeah. But what I'm getting at here is that if you wanted your French sounding lyrics to sound English, why not just sing the songs in English? Well, because, you know, I'm French and my my English isn't good enough to write good lyrics. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't write as good as I'm writing in French, so, you know, I believe in French in general. I just, I just want to improve, you know, the French songwriting because 
you know, here in Quebec, either it's folk music, like super roots from, you know, what we call, you know, uh, our raw language, which here is called joual, or either it's, you know, French from from France. So I just wanted to to do something in between, something more international French French wise, yeah. So you've gone to South by Southwest, you perform for English Canadian audiences. I have to ask, what's it like standing in front of an audience, performing your songs, and interacting with them, knowing that they probably don't understand what you're saying? Well, the, the music is pretty loud on the stage, especially live. It's so loud, and we're six on the stage, so I think it's just very impressive to, to see it live. So I don't think that the people did care about if it was French or uh, or Spanish or whatever. It's a bigger reward when they don't understand anything from from your lyrics and they're not from the same city and everything and they're enjoying the the show so yeah bonjour mon nom est peter peter et vous écoutez the interview show avec mon bon ami scott wood See you. 
my name is Peter Peter, and you're listening to The Interview Show with Scott Wood. Welcome back to The Interview Show. This is Scott Wood, your host. You just heard Les Chimènes Etoiles. That's off the record and proved version of Sadness by Peter Peter. I have Peter Peter on the line here with me today. And yes, those lyrics were all in French. We have Peter Peter here to explain them a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Les Chimènes Etoiles. It's, uh, you know... <laughs> It's about another party night. I can't believe it. Uh, I'm all, all my songs seem to be about alcohols and drugs. I feel really bad right now, but it's it's about it's about being with friends in in a car. So it was raining outside, and all the lights, you know, on the street seemed blurry because of, of the water on the on the windshield and yeah that's uh, that's about that it's just <laughs> being with friends and <laughs> and going from bars to others and <laughs> yeah <That's laughs> alright well I'm gonna ask a serious question about it that's one of those tracks with a saxophone in it now a saxophone yeah. can either make a good track great like M83 or it can be complete cheese like Kenny G so when you decided to throw in the saxophone, were you worried? No, I wasn't, yeah, because uh, I saw a live performance and I was like, wow, it's the, the greatest instrument. Why we've been forbidding it everywhere? And for me, it's, uh, it's a very powerful instrument. So no, uh, the only thing I wanted to use it everywhere. So I had to, to make decisions about where I'm gonna put that track you know so there are maybe four or five songs with the with saxophone and you know from my side i would have uh, put it everywhere but uh, i couldn't you know it's because <laughs> that's that's the dangerous thing when you like it when you love a thing too too much you you, you always want it everywhere you know all over <laughs> so your second record an improved version of sadness i'll let you say it in french for me uh une version améliorée de la tristesse Awesome, thank you. You said that you tried to loosen up on this record by drinking while recording, so I was hoping that you could set the scene for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, I was... When I was recording the first album, there was a rule. I didn't want anyone to bring any uh, kind of alcohol and, and everything, but on that, you know, on that record, I just wanted to forget about the stress, forget about, you know, I just wanted to have fun. And I was producing it with uh, two friends of mine. You know, the album was talking about friends, about sadness, about getting high, about getting drunk. So I just wanted to, yeah, have more fun. And I think we, we did good. I think we, I wasn't thinking too much, you know, when, when you're having when you're recording an album you're always thinking about what people are gonna think about and so what type of alcohol were you drinking give us some details i think it was beer all the time yeah because you know beer it's you can you can take it slowly it's just like a beverage you know it's you know we didn't bring any gin or any strong alcohol we just we we were drinking beers and listening to music, you know, just like uh, teenage parties. Yeah. Bonjour, mon nom est Peter Peter, et vous écoutez the interview show avec mon bon ami Scott Wood. Lorsqu'arrive la Russie 
Hi, my name is Peter Peter, and you're listening to The Interview Show with Scott Wood. All right, welcome back to The Interview Show. This is Scott Wood, your host. You just heard Carousel. That's off an improved version of Sadness by Peter Peter. He's a Montreal-based artist. Yes, those lyrics were in French, so I'm glad I have Peter Peter here to talk a bit about this track. Yeah, Carousel, it's about a girl, you know. It's about it's about that girl that you, you're trying to catch, but that you never caught in your entire life it's a yeah it's a, it's about a girl yeah i would say <laughs> <laughs> short and sweet i like it we've established that you are a fun party guy who lives in montreal yeah i'm a boring guy from bc if i came to montreal what's one sentence that i need to know in french now not a typical sentence that everybody knows but what's one strange sentence that will help me have a good time in montreal in French. Uh, in French. Okay, let me think about it. Um, uh, voulez-vous venir sur le Mont Royal avec moi? Okay. I yeah. can tell what you're saying, but you explain, please. Yeah, it would mean, it means, uh, would you come with me uh, on the Mont Royal? It's, uh, you know, it's a mountain, uh, kind of a, so, uh, yeah, it's a great place to, to go, especially with a girl. So, I would say it's a, it's a, it's kind of a pickup line, and yeah, you should tell that to to a girl. Like, voulez-vous uh, venir avec moi sur le Mont Royal? You know, it's a small, you know, it's easy to learn, you know, and it, uh, and if it works, you you're gonna have good times. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna practice that as soon as we get off the air. Peter, Peter, thank you very much for being on my show. I really appreciate it. At the end of my show, I get the guest to pick one of their tracks and I play it as they talk about it. MDMA, why not? I mean, we've been talking about it. <laughs> MDMA, All right. why not? Okay, so we're going to listen to MDMA. Peter, Peter, I would love it if you could talk a bit about this one. Again? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, okay, I'm going to pick another one then <laughs> because we've been talking so much about drugs. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Yeah, okay, all right. We're going to still... Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so talk a little bit about this track. Okay. Uh, this track, uh, it's about a, an MDMA... I <laughs> can't believe it. Uh, experience uh, I had when I was uh, shooting uh, Tergiverse, you know, uh, a song from the first album. The music video is about us going to parties, uh one of my friends who was sober was driving us around the city and we were go- going to parties from from place to another while we were on MDMA. So we were scary to people because we were, you know, we were going into parties that where people didn't know who we were and we were filming. So that's, yeah, that's uh, about it. That, that's about a, a, night, a party night again. Yeah. All right, so we're going to listen to MDMA. That's a track off an improved version of Sadness by Peter Peter. Peter Peter, thank you very much for being on my show. Yeah, thank you, really. And I hope you, you're going to be able to edit it uh, to, and to have a, a great show <laughs> with the, the, the friends guy. <laughs> Bonjour, mon nom est Peter Peter. Et vous écoutez The Interview Show avec mon bon ami Scott Wood.
Yeah,